Hey everyone, it's Dr. Rick, founder of Herbal 411. And I was gonna go work out at Planet Fitness Schomburg on Golf Road, but I decided to go outside because you can run on a treadmill, but it's totally different when you're hitting the path. And I have to get ready for running at the Turkey Trot. Anybody wants to go with me to Turkey Trot Chicago on Thanksgiving? I think it'll be a nice way to prepare for eating a whole bunch of turkey later on in the day. So I want to talk about zone two. Right now my heart rate is 115. That's okay, that's where it has to be, remember? 100 to 130. So if I keep it in that window, I'm done my zone two in 30 minutes. And it isn't really a great workout if you're looking for power, strength, or sprinting. But what I'm trying to do is train my mitochondria to make or utilize fat as energy. If the mitochondria are used to glucose all the time, then they only burn glucose. They don't recognize fat. So those of you who are trying to lose weight, if you have all these fat stores and your metabolism doesn't recognize them, then the only thing that's gonna happen when you go aggressive with your exercise or as you age is your metabolism will say, hey, I don't have any fat stores. You used up all the glucose. So let's go get this guy hungry. So it makes you hunt for food. And it makes you fat because you keep on storing it instead of burning it. So ultimately, if you're trying to get your metabolism to recognize the depot fat that you have, that's where you put 80%, 80, 80 of your weekly exercise at zone two. Yeah, 124. I'm having enough perceived exertion to have a little bit of satisfaction. But as one of my patients from Tennessee came in yesterday, he said if he just does zone two, he will not be satisfied. And I agree with him. When you're a muscle head like me or a competitive athlete, zone two might seem like you're not doing anything, but that actually prepares you to burn fat. A little bit of exercise is great for zone two. And your mitochondria will start recognizing all that fat that you're storing. If you do what every athlete wants to do and attack your weights, attack your treadmill, your rowing machine, your bike, you can also get your heart rate super high, possibly in the zone five. But remember, when you crest over past your little window of zone two, in my theory, but if you go past your window, you're starting to engage a lot more demand from muscle. You'll be short of breath. The reason that you breathe harder is because muscles want more oxygen because they're trying to create more ATP and they'll burn glucose. They won't burn fat. Fat takes forever to turn into energy. Glucose is immediate. So zone five training is useful for telling the mitochondria, burn glucose. But if that signal is high, the second signal comes too. The muscles, they demand lactate. So the mitochondria, they get bypassed, especially if you're not breathing deep enough. And it's just your cells that try to make ATP on their own. In a sprint, you're gonna need a lot of energy fast. When the glucose gets finished, it makes lactate. Lactate is a byproduct of glucose going to pyruvate. It does yield energy. And in fact, there is a problem because everybody thinks lactate is just a byproduct, but it's actually an energy signal. When the body makes lactate, it can easily push it outside the cell into the bloodstream 
for your whole body to use it. Cardiac muscle uses lactate. There are certain parts of the brain when the muscles run out of oxygen, enough oxygen, the body is still under demand, you still push the envelope, you'll start to make lactate. Lactate is a good fuel source initially, but has to be whisked out of the muscle and out of the cell into the systemic circulation so that the entire body can utilize it for food or send it back to the liver for the core recycle where it gets converted to glucose again. This is the big reveal when you're doing zone five and you burn up all your glucose and then you produce lactate. The lactate will inhibit you from breaking down fat. That is why you really have to be doing zone training in two different types. Zone two, easy like now, 115, perfect. So I'll do zone two training 80, 80, 80% 80 of the week. And that could be inside on a treadmill, on a bike, uh, walking with a backpack or doing this easy light jog. If I do that 80% of the time, but I'll be satisfying the mitochondria, always recognizing fat. And hopefully that will get me to lose some fat. If I fill in the last 20% with zone five, I think 20 is all I need to hit 20%. We're four minutes aggressive, four minutes easy. Four minutes aggressive, four minutes easy. It's called four by fours. That way you can get your accumulated zone fives. Zone five has to be targeted, hopefully achieved, very painful, not a fun experience. Just have to give it all you can. So build up to it, get yourself psyched out, and it'll, you, the motivation is always gonna be an important factor. Halfway into the lactic acid and hydrogen ion buildup, which is what causes the pain, you're gonna tap out and say, I can't do this because I'm tired. I didn't sleep. I didn't have enough fuel. Oh, I gotta do my homework. Uh, I gotta make a phone call. So there's always excuses to get us away from the pain, but if you make it to that 15 to 20 minutes of zone five, you're beautiful. Hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas. Put it in comments down below on your favorite way to hit zone two and zone five, maybe your age. Don't forget to consider subscribing, thumbs up and share this. Otherwise I'll see you the next video.